Hi guys, Jill here, and I am back, and I'm still playing with my mold and pour and my melt pot, and I wanted to show you a few of the things that I had forgotten to mention. I went ahead and I had made up some more molds as well as, you know, I did up some more images. So here is that button, and here's the heart that came out of it. Awesome did a few of them. Here's some more of the flowers. This one, I took just my Cool Perry paint dabber and colored it. Looks really cool. Kind of flat, but cool. This one, I took Willow Adirondack Alcohol Inks. And I love how that came out. And Here's my original cameo that I got from Canterbury Lane. Love these little guys. And here's one that I poured. So what I did, again, it's the same mix that you guys watched me do. And I didn't pour mine quite all the way, but you get the idea. And you can see the image shrinks just a touch when the, when the mold, you know, dries. <laughs> And so I went with the willow ink with my finger actually and then I just wiped off some of it so that she had kind of a white surface showing again. Then I just came in with one of my all-time favorites which is just Perfect Pearl, Perfect Pearls. And that gave the shimmer and I thought pretty close. Really like that one. Here's one of the big flowers. Let's see, there's, you saw those, there's the white cameo. So now I want to show you taking out the mold, inking it up with some alcohol inks. I'm sure you could use your Copics, I just haven't experimented enough. Okay, so here's one of the flowers, the big flower. And see how you kind of have to snap, crack the mold a little bit, but that's fine and pull it out and there you go. Now let's say this one's pretty easy but you can just come in and snip off some of those little extra bits but the thing is you don't want to snip those off and look you can tell it's darkened some as it got older the UD itself. You don't want to snip those little bits and pieces off when the mold itself is totally cold. So let's look at this little guy. See him, the little button one? This is part of the cold tools. And it's the tweezers. And mine aren't agreeing with me. I melted mine. <laughs> okay, let's find one. Here's a cameo. Okay, we're just going to use our fingers. So see how it's all uneven? You're just going to very carefully go into your melt pot on those edges and just melt away the extras. See? Now it's easier if you actually have a surface here to work with. So let's do that so you can see. So, there's that little part that I want to get rid of, and look at that, it just smooths itself down. Isn't that cool? And let's do that with this button looking guy, because I really over poured this one. See that? Super, super simple. Okay, so I smoothed out a lot of it. Here's the little flowers. So see, they have all kinds of little extra bits. Just come in and snip those off and of course put it back in your UD. But this one I've let harden, so see how that little point's formed? And again guys, be careful. I just melted the heck out of that one, so just put it back in and restart. Okay. So there, let's just pull a few of those off. See? God, 
Okay, drop that guy. It's going to go back in, but you get the point. I need to get my real tweezers out because these I melted. I did the charm mold. The mold itself is really nice. I'm just not getting a good pour at this point because it's so th little of my UD in there. So what I need to do is commit to add some more, but I'm going to change colors. And I'm going to show you one more pour and then I'm going to be done here. But aren't they beautiful? Um, actually, I'm not even going to show a pour. I'm just going to show you a color. Let's make this button blue. And look how beautiful these molds are. Okay, so again, I'm not even using my felt. Just a few drops. Do you want it darker, lighter, however you want it. Obviously you wouldn't do this on a day you had to go to work or something. But look, I can just leave it like that. I can add some darker spots. And this is cloudy blue. Isn't that beautiful? Let's try, now I'm going to go in with some other like metallics and stuff later. At this point this is really just kind of mindless playing with no project in mind. But I really like the white as a base. And I've been dropping everything today. So, so see you can put it on darker or lighter with that white base and get in those nicks and crannies. And I'm sure Copics would work. It's just that with all those little, little spots in there, you do probably want something liquid. Even Copic refills would work too. And then I think what I'll do is dust it with my dark brown, which I happen to have out. So take your marker and see. Just add a little bit of darkness. I know it's real subtle. I don't even know if you guys can see it, but I can. And then I think some gold on that. So still playing but wow I'm having fun I'm glad I remembered I had these and can replicate some of these things like these beautiful buttons I could pearlize them everything so there we go and once again thanks for stopping by and have a great day